I looked up. Uh, I looked. I looked up, and I saw that there was a low ridge or hill, um, about as far from me it seemed as from here to the back of this room. And there were maybe 18, 19, 20 people standing there. And I immediately thought, oh, oh, wonderful, I want to talk with them. And then I found that I was there. I have, there was no memory of my having to walk all the way there, climb the hill a little. I think it was an instant teleportation. Well, is that the word I want? Um, transportation, anyway. Um, to this little hill. And three of the men who were on the hill uh, came down a little ways and we met. The people were all dressed in beautiful robes, just the very simplest kind of, um, no ornamentation, just but, but in these wonderful uh, colors. And everybody on the hill was dressed exactly the same way. The three men who came to greet me, uh, one man did all of the talking. Um, he was taller than the rest by probably six inches, had a face that was the most extraordinarily spiritual, grace-filled face I have ever seen. I did not think to myself, oh, this must be Jesus, or Peter, or Paul, or anybody. I just simply recognized that he was a spiritual authority, and I could trust this person, whatever he said. I said to him, I know what has happened to me. I know that I have died. And he said, that's right, but you are not going to be staying here because it isn't time for you to be here yet. 